Hey, welcome back to JG3 Reviews. My name is James and I do fountain pen, ink, and paper reviews. And here lately I've been sharing with you some pens from one of this channel's subscribers, personal collection and all of these pens come from Waterman, a company with a great history and some interesting pens and today is no exception. This is the, it's actually not the Waterman exception, it is the Waterman Expert 3. As I've looked at these different Waterman pens in his collection, uh, all of them are interesting, all of them have written really well, but for some reason this is my favorite so far. I'm really enjoying this pen and I'm going to share with you as we go over the design and the writing sample and everything why that might be. So let's spin that camera and dive right in. All right inside this box, this nice little gift box with an interesting, almost rubberized, but it's not rubberized, but interesting soft touch feeling in case you're really into boxes is the Expert 3. So let's just open that up and what a great looking pen. Doesn't that look like a nice gift if you were giving someone a pen for Christmas which is coming up of course. It does. It looks great. And here that pen is the Expert 3 in black and gold trim. This is just a classic executive styled pen. Now you can get it in other colors. There's blue and red and stainless steel and some matte colors and things like that. Uh, there is variety. I actually really like the classic black and gold on this pen and you can get it in black and silver. I tend to like that usually even better. I just like the look of this pen. All right, so let's start at the top of that cap and first we have that finial with the Waterman logo emblazoning the top of the pen and that slanted finial is of course a distinctive mark of the Waterman Expert and uh, another pen or two that they have made. You'll recognize that. Then on the clip you have the Waterman logo and that blade that comes down with that center slit. Again distinctive features of a Waterman pen and it works really well. Good and stiff. It's angled well enough. The approach angle, like we're talking 4x4s, four four right? The approach angle is right to be able to go over fabric well and it just functions quite well. Then we get to the trim band and that trim band has Waterman Paris on one side and France on reverse as is typical for most Waterman pens at the moment and just a good looking pen overall. Now you're noticing, I know, that there is still another trim band down here and what is that? That is a protruding trim. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. That is a protruding trim piece because when you take the cap and post it, listen, yes, a nice snick snick for that as well. And it works really well, posts really well. Turns out to be a very well balanced pen. Ergonomics are great on this pen. Long enough to write with unposted, well balanced because it posts deeply. Uh, when it is posted, just a lovely pen to write you wouldn't write with it right that like that right but we're just air writing so we don't have to worry about nib orientation anyway really really nice pen in hand now you get to the grip right and when you get to the grip you will find that it is also a lacquered metal grip that tapers down to a nice bell shape at the end and it writes and and holds and and feels really good i just again I really like it. It feels nice and all of these pieces, uh, especially the lacquered barrel and the grip section, the things that you're going to handle the most, the cap, they all feel really good. You do have another trim piece here. I don't know if that would get messy, you know, if you were uh, dipping that into an ink bottle because I haven't dipped this pen, but I, I would think there's potential there and uh, so you might you know, just be aware to get that good and clean if you dip this into an ink bottle and make sure that you take care of that. And then you have the two-tone nib. Let's look at that nib more closely. The nib is a stainless steel two-tone nib. Again, I'm going to assume that is 23 karat gold plating just as with the trim pieces as well. And this one is a medium. You turn that around and you see the plastic feed that you've seen on other Waterman pens. Kind of interesting because it does have fins, but those fins are between the nib and the underside of the feed. Just a, a less common way of doing the nib, but functions really well. You get the benefit of fins, but you probably get a little bit less mess there overall. Flow is good on this pen, and it writes 
nicely and smoothly. But why take my word for it? Why don't we do a quick size comparison and then get to that writing test? For our quick size comparison, this is the Diplomat Arrow, the Platinum 3776, of course the Waterman Expert 3, the Pilot Metropolitan, and Alami 2000. And here are the pins posted. And here are the pins completely set free from their caps. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to put ink to paper. This is a medium nib, and the ink is the bottle you see, Waterman Serenity Blue. This has become one of my workhorse inks. I enjoy it. This and Mysterious Blue both really, really good. Test for wetness. And Pretty decently wet, not surprising. Has really good flow, I think. My handwriting is not going to be great today. Doing this right before lunch on my day off. I'm starving. Maybe even a little bit. I'm not hangry, but I'm definitely hungry. It's been a long time since I've had that, what is that called, Alpha Bits, the cereal? I don't eat cereal much anymore. Almost never. Vanilla Almond, that, that's a really good one. I like that. You didn't know. You don't care now that you do know. Oh, that went real quick into brats, didn't it? I'm telling you, I'm starving. It's just the way it is. Okay, let's see here. Let's do the squiggle test and see how well it keeps up. I'm going to assume I haven't done it yet with this pen. I've written, but I haven't, I haven't squiggled. Let's see how it does. Okay, I only see this, which I think was a turn on my part, and this, which I felt lift. I felt myself do that so i think it i think it does just fine no problems there whatsoever that's an old joke and i don't think it was funny when it was new but that's what you got okay so what do i think about the waterman expert i like it uh it's not an inexpensive pen there's a lot of competition for example uh, that that Platinum 3776, and even if you can get a good deal on, I, I paid about the same for my Lamy 2000 that you would pay for an expert, uh, you can get good deals and discounts on that, or the Diplomat, you know, all these pens kind of in the same arena. I think it comes down to preference. Uh, they all write well, and I really have enjoyed writing with this Waterman. If you were wanting particularly a Waterman, this obviously would be the one to get. You can carry this pen to so many different occasions, and it's going to be just right. It's just a nice, nice pen. The quality is really nice. If you're looking for a classic pen with really good feel, uh, this one has that. It has more heft than the 2000 or the 3776, but it probably appeals to more people's tastes than, say, the Diplomat Arrow, which is one of my favorite pens. So, do I like the pen? Yes, I do. Do I think this particular one is well made? Yes, I do, and it writes really well, and I just, I really like the feel of the grip and the materials and the balance and all of that. So a really nice pen. And I want to thank again the man who loaned me his collection of Waterman so I could share them with you. I do have 
one more of his pens to share with you in this whole little journey through his collection. Another waterman in that one. Uh, while this one is my favorite of this group to write with and, and my favorite in terms of just kind of what my taste is and looking at the pens, the next one is the most fun. The next one is a Harley Davidson waterman pen. So that one's going to be a lot of fun and I'll share that with you pretty shortly. But in the meantime, share in the comments below if you've had one of these pens, which generation, Expert 1, 2, or 3 did you have? Which is your preference? What do you like about the pen, not like about the pen? And as always, God bless you and have a great week. Hey, just because I turned off the camera doesn't mean that I was done. I still want you to like, share, and subscribe and hit that bell so you'll know when that next pen review comes out.